In this video I will show you the principle of operation of wireless chargers. Electromagnetic induction works in a simple way. When a magnetic field cuts the windings of a coil, an electric current is induced in the coil. Here I have a coil connected to the multimeter and a magnet. Now let's see if I move the magnet through the coil, you can see how a voltage is induced in the coil. Notice that there has to be movement, the magnet must move through the coil or the coil move through the magnet. But if the magnet is just inside the coil without moving, there is no current induced movement of the magnetic field is necessary. I have built this little system to show how we can use electromagnetic induction to transmit electricity without wires through the air. It has this coil that is connected to this incandescent lamp. And here we have another coil connected to this electronic ballast and this ballast produces alternating current that feeds the coil. Ok, therefore in our system when the electric current through this coil starts to increase the magnetic field also increases. Then the current decreases and the magnetic field decreases also. So we have around this coil a magnetic field that is increasing and decreasing periodically. In other words the magnetic field is moving which is what we need for induction. When this magnetic field cuts the windings of the second coil a current is induced in this coil and we can use that current to power an electrical appliance in this case or incandescent lamp. So let's see now how it works. I'm going to power the ballast. Okay, it is now on and let me move the second co coil closer. There you have it. Let me turn it off. Okay. So we are transmitting electrical power from one coil to the other through the air. That is, this is wireless transmission. And this lamp is a 12 volt, 1 amp lamp. So we are transmitting around 12 watts of power from one coil to the other. It is important that we use high frequency alternating current for this to work. If we use a transformer that works at 50 or 60 Hz, it will not work. This ballast works at several thousand Hz, as we will see in a moment. The electromagnetic induction is more efficient when we use high frequency AC. Let's measure the frequency. The multimeter is set to measure frequency and let me turn the system on and you can see that it works at a frequency close to 11 kilohertz. Thanks for visiting my channel, I hope you liked the video. If that is the case, please comment, give a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already.